Maine. New Hampshire. Massachusetts. New England is the hardest place to successfully hunt whitetails on the planet. These are the stories of the uniquely successful that have never been told. That's a nice Maine buck. He's big. This is our big woods, New Hampshire, six and a half year old man deer. They're just awesome animals. His velvet is mean. Starting to shake now. Just crying, but now I'm just shaking. I'm shaking. This is what grows in those freaking deep Maine spots right here. After a long night with little sleep, John and Josh rise with the sun on the rocky Atlantic coast. As hunters, we have all felt the way John is feeling in this moment. It's an anxious feeling of guarded excitement mixed with worry. Today, they will take up Bigfoot's trail with their promise to finally end a six-year quest. How many cups of coffee you made out of that thing? Uh, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> hey, Cody. Good morning, Cody. How you doing? Pretty good, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah, yeah it is. Fell asleep until like four. Yeah. And then Josh said he heard me. I was like, <laughs> like, like I sat up real quick. And I got up and like took a walk down to the beach and like listened and like I was like, do I need to go now? Or can I wait for everybody? Like, that's yep. We're gonna make some oatmeal real quick. Yeah, we got coffee too if you wanna. That some sounds kinda good also. Yeah. Let's do this, John. Yeah. I'm ready. I don't think it's gonna really soak in until we're looking at them. Yeah. You ready, Cody? Let's do this. All right, let's do this. We're like 250 yards from where I shot him right now. So this is just a super thick pocket going up in here and um, there's kind of a trail. So we're going in. So you can kind of see our stands out here in the background. We still have those up. And the shot was just on the other side of those. This is what we gave up yesterday. We gave up what, what we came in on and off a little bit of this. And we saved, you know, we saved all of that. That was what we bet yeah, and that worked. With the wind, yeah. we, chose, yeah. we chose early on not to even put a camera in here this year. I think I've said that, but that was a, a pivotal like decision, I think, for yeah. this. We just never came in here. Yeah. And it showed when he came in because he just, he owned it. He was so comfy. He was. He, it was just his, it was his place. Yeah, you, you know? can tell he hadn't been busted at all this year. He, he yeah. Just, yeah. He's like, yep, I'm, I'm good in here. Yeah. And he just snuck in and. Yeah. So let's get up to the tree and then we'll go right to the shot and then yep. we'll kind of regroup. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So my arrow was in the ground right in here. I think he ducked under this and mm -hmm. stood on here. Well, I, I kind of thought he was Yeah, around. it might, it might. Somehow he got right to the other side other of side, this. Yeah. yeah. He was on the other side. I'd say he went out this way because he didn't turn back on his feet. Right. This is, this is pretty much. Well, you see, you see my stand? Yeah. yeah. This is the window where you that, that's, that's it right there. Yeah. It, so he went, he went under that. He went under this and he held up right there. First saw him. Okay. Out yeah. under that big apple tree. Big apple, yeah. Look at these bald eagles. They just dropped a fish. <laughs> that was so cool. Wonder if they're gonna try to get it. There's two of them. They were fighting over it. Yeah. That's cool. Alright, so there's blood there. Yeah. There's blood there. Yeah. Well, he's not bleeding a lot, that's for sure. Well, I mean we watched him walk up here. He walked right up through that hole. I think he was bedded just on the other side of that. So, 
Josh, this hole ahead of you there, I feel like I if you went through there, we're going to be able to find something in that hole. Yeah. We need to get him into the ferns because I think it'll just show up better. Well, that's that looks like that looks real good for laying down right yeah, there. It and that's the right distance, but all right, Josh, does he know what's going on? You want me to come in behind you? Can you can you point at him? I see him. Come straight up behind me. Do you have a line on him where you are? I got a, you can shoot him right where I am. When you come, you see the split, you see the split, split right here, yeah. the spruce. When you come around that, you'll have a shot. Draw back. You guys ready? Did you hit him good, do you think? Oh, yeah. How many hours? I hit him good. I hit him in the crease. I hit him in the crease. I mean, I had to shoot through those spruce trees, but I buried it. How many hours is that? How many hours is that? 16 hours with a full-blown liver shot. And he just got up. I've seen him do it 20 hours later, yeah. get up. Yeah, I was filming on my phone and then Cody was filming us. Okay, I mean, he hit him good? Yeah, he hit him good, he buried it. I mean, you heard it hit him, Josh. No, I, I watched it go in him. It went in his armpit. He was laying down. I drove it up under his armpit. Oh, yeah, right behind his, right behind his shoulder. Right behind his shoulder. So he was quartering, too. Yeah, he was quartering. More than I thought. Yeah, so that's why it got manky, because of the exit. So we went out that way. We went out and around, so. Oh, you can't. I was climbing under that blowdown, going, it, I'm not gonna get there. Like, I mean, yeah. you know, where's he gonna go? Right. 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 But, but, just I just didn't want him to go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you I know, know, from here. He, he perked up a little when you started coming under that blowdown. But yeah. You should have seen him, John. He was like, he was relaxed. Just when, majestic. When I was talking. Yeah. He, he, when I came under that blowdown, and I came right up here, and I looked over to my left, his eyes were this big, and you, and he, you could, his posture was up. And I just started talking to you, and, and he literally like settled down like this. Yeah. And then and then he, he started to blink, like you know. Yeah. He was like comfortable. You yeah. Know, and well, that's that liver hit, you know. Yeah. I mean, he he was gonna die on his own, like right there. soon. Yeah, right yeah. there for sure. But it's if we had come in on him last night, no, it would it we would have blown everything. Yeah. Yeah, let's go find him. I mean, it's time, isn't it? It is time. Josh, he either went up this way or he came down here, but I think he went that way. I think this is his track here, guys. Well, look at that. Blood, is that blood right? No, no. Here's blood right here. Right? Yep. Okay. There he is. Oh my god, his head's up. He's, he's still his alive. Head's up. His head's up. Take this. He's still alive, Will. Just get yourself where you're comfortable. Oh god. 
You guys ready? Yeah. Oh, that oh, poor deer. Poor buck, but. Oh my God. Oh, we got him well. Dude, his foot yeah. rack is huge, bro. Yeah, I know. Oh. Yeah. His rack is all huge. Yeah. They just delivered as soon as I got off the phone. I mean, absolute warrior. even real life? I don't think so. Are we dreaming? I think so. I wondered about it. <laughs> I know. I know. I wondered about it too. Hey Ralph, it's John Altman. I just recovered this deer, so we're in the process of figuring out how to get back to the mainland. Um, just want you in the loop. Like we talked about. Thanks a lot. Bye. Now we're going to make you work, Cody. Yep, <laughs> time to get to work. <laughs>
While the Mainers revel with family and friends over the story of Bigfoot, 180 miles to the southwest in the mountains of New Hampshire, myself and Ross Roberge have been preparing for a highly anticipated whitetail season of our own. Chris, nice to meet you. Chris, good to meet you, man. 